Hello, my name is Lauren Carroll, and today I will be presenting Fox One, our avalanche rescue robot prototype. My teammates are Jackson Herman, Jeffrey Gillis, and Emily Roth. Our objective is to build a scale prototype of an autonomous avalanche rescue vehicle, capable of locating lost avalanche victims, traveling to their location, and then doing the brunt of digging them out before trained rescue rescuers fully extract them to avoid injuring them. We named it after a fox, since foxes are famous for digging things in the snow. Our main systems are a tread system built with 3D printed treads made out of flexible TPU filament around four wheels, one of which is powered by a DC motor. Our auger system, which will do the digging, is a welded double helix design, which will center the snow and then throw it out the top exit novel, nozzle. Our radio receiver is set to receive 315 megahertz and direct the robot in the direction that signal is coming from. Our internal electronics include two Arduinos and three DC motors powered by a nine volt battery, all sealed inside the case to protect against cold and moisture. Safety analysis. Now the main danger is the auger blades since we want to avoid chewing up our victim. <laughs> so as precautions, we have covered the blades with a cover guard to protect rescuers or anyone nearby the robot from getting their limbs or clothes caught in it. Temperature sensor on the, there will also be a temperature sensor on a probe to stop the blades when it senses the body heat of a person buried in the snow. And then the rescuers can do the final extraction. Results. Due to budget and time constraints, we were unable to get the prototype completely operational in time for the design expo, but we have completed the main body, tread systems, the auger mounts, and the auger itself, and have configured the electronics and mounted them all inside, as well as figuring out how to graph and use the radio signals. What we're still in progress of is the auger drive system, um, getting the robot to orient and and drive itself in the direction of the radio signal and better aligning wheels so that the treads will move. Improvements. If we had had more time and money, we would have loved to do ground penetrating radar as opposed to radio because we could find victims without a radio beacon. GPS would also allow the robot to better track its and the victim's location and plot a course. Uh, lithium ion batteries would help last much longer than our nine volt and be more cold resistant. High torque motors would also be very helpful in getting the treads and auger to move much more effectively. We would also have loved to have more proximity sensors and maybe built in terrain maps to allow the robot to avoid obstacles and better navigate the general area of which it's operating. So in conclusion, Due to Houghton's unpredictable weather, we were unable to test it on real snow. However, we believe with further resources and development, this avalanche rescue robot could help save thousands of lives. What we have achieved is more of a proof of concept that we hope could someday be used in, de in developing a much more advanced system than ours. What follows are a few short videos of what we have gotten working as of the posting of this video. Thank you.